Hello you guys, welcome to Holly Scoops Just Saying. I'm Madison Conklin and if you don't recognize this beautiful face over here, that's because <laughs> this is one of our new hosts. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey people. guys, I'm Chanel and yes, I'm new. This is my first day and this girl's amazing. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, as amazing as we think we each other are, <laughs> we disagree on the nip slip. I for one am not for it, but let's get to why we're talking about freeing the nipple and nip slips. So Bella Hadid was walking in the Alexander Vautier Paris Hot Couture fashion show just a few days ago when she unfortunately revealed a little too much skin. Sometimes designers purposely have their models go braless, mm. a look that, that many deem socially acceptable for high fashion runways. Mm -hmm. But it is, um, but is it another story when models and celebs go all natural off the runway? Now I for one think yes, I think it is a little uh, unnecessary for models and just everyday people to go braless, spring the nip, showing off their nips. I am a little, um, I guess I'm not progressive in that sense. It makes um, you feel uncomfortable. I think it goes, it, it makes me a little uncomfortable, but I think it mainly boils down to me not being secure with my own nipples. Like I would <laughs> never do that for anyone, show them off, nor go braless. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's the hot look. I mean, it started kind of in 26. It was a thing in the 90s. Mm. It kind of picked up steam in 2016 or 2017, I should say. And a lot of the models, Gigi, Bella, Kendall, are doing it. I don't think it's that hot. What do you think? Well, I'm. I have a very different opinion. Like you said earlier, I think it's great. I don't think it's a problem on the runway. I don't think it's a problem in real life. My main thing is, if men can do it. Why can't we? Why is it such a discussion when we free the nip or a model frees the nip? Whether you like to see it or not, why is it such an issue? That's just why I'm like, guys, girls, let's just all do it. What's the problem? Let's get naked. <laughs> let's just get naked. Whoa, okay. <laughs> but like you said, so many models are doing it already. Kendall Jenner, the main one we're talking about today, Bella Hadid obviously sparked this whole discussion. Cara Delevingne, Miley Cyrus, Kim Kardashian, they've been doing it for years. And actually, I want to show you a little clip here. It's kind of a quirky, funny side we see to Kendall Jenner. Um, she had an interview with W Magazine about her very first time she walked the Marc Jacobs runway. So check it out. And then my tits were out. I don't know why I wasn't nervous about that. I was really excited about my tits being out, actually. I'm weird. I love my tits being out. I do remember when that happened. I was like, dang, she is freezing cold yeah. because she is poking through that shirt. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, she didn't have a bra on. But, but I'm like, girl, you're not weird. If I had a body like that, I would be like, yes, damn. I want to look back on myself in a few years' time and be like, I look good. I can totally free the nip. <laughs> See, I, I get that. And I'm all for women celebrating their bodies and, you know, doing what they will with their own bodies. But I do think there's a big distinction between runway and real life. Like I said, I'm not a fan of either context. Mm. I just feel like even in on runway shows and in real life, it diverts the attention away from things. Mm. Whether you're trying to give a presentation to people or you're simply just trying to go get a coffee and people are just staring at you like, that must not feel good. Or even on, you know, high-end fashion runway shows, they're gonna be like, <laughs> like, yeah. oh my god, you know? Yeah. I just think it's it's a little unnecessary. It's drawing to the eye and, you know, for these skinny, tiny models with perky little boobs, yeah, maybe, but like, think about, you know? The average person. Well, funny yeah. that you say that because Vogue magazine actually wrote and said that you, normal people, like normal people, aka us, will actually start following this trend because they don't think it's going away. But you're a strong no on that trend. I am a strong no, and I do have a few people, respected uh, publications, back me up. Ona Artist from Thought Catalog said, quote, I respect a lot of the celebrities who support hashtag free the nipple, but the reality is that these, celebrities women, these celebrity women don't need money or an Instagram account to promote their work. Mm -hmm. Whereas a lot of people in everyday life are freeing the nipple to be like, catch, you know, look at this, ah, you know. Um, so, and then another person said from EXO Jane, quote, even more insidious than celebrities singularly crusading free the nipple as their feminist issue of choice are the other non-quite famous feminists who are using their voice to promote this quote-unquote issue as a substantial campaign, uh, campaign in our movement for social equality. So, at the end of the day, is it too excessive? Maybe in moderation, maybe, but yeah. I think it's too excessive. For sure, and back to Kendall Jenner, just on the other side of that, she wrote on her app saying, you know, why she goes braless or why she just likes to show a little bit of a, little bit of a bra. And she said, quote, I'm all about freeing the nipple. And I just think it's cool to show off what's under your shirt, whether that's a cute bralette, 
<laughs> or just your skin? I saw uh, the show up at any rate. Yeah, uh, but back to what we were saying, sure, if you had a body like that, I would also be like, yes, let's show this all. But uh, yeah. regardless, I personally don't think I would do that. I don't feel comfortable with it. However, it doesn't bother me. It does not bother no. you. No. Okay. Well, we do have a few fan reactions to, I guess, further my argument. Um, <laughs> one fan said, quote, okay, we get it, women. The nip has been freed. And another one said, quote, I'm about not, I'm all about not wearing a bra and free the nip, but not wearing a bra to school is just a little much. Like, that's your old teachers and stuff. Yeah. So. There, there needs to be boundaries here as well. As much as I'm for, like, I don't care, show it, don't show it, there need to be boundaries as well. I, I think that's something we can agree upon, yeah. but I still am not <laughs> a fan of this free the nipple movement. Chanel is, on the other hand. Tell us in the comments down below who you agree with. Do you agree with Chanel? Free the nip, show it off, do whatever you want. Or are you kind of like me, a little more conservative? Maybe don't show it off, keep it contained. And that's still fine. Yeah. Both are fine. Yeah. It's so a free world, people. <laughs> comment down below, let us know what you think. Make sure to click subscribe because you do not want to miss out on more Chanel. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching Holly Scoops Just Saying. Free the nip, don't free the nip. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.